Okay, in this video, we are going to solve this limit problem right here. And the first thing that I like to do is straight plug in to see if it even works. So if I plug in a four, let's see what happens. So we would get the square root of four plus 12, outside is a minus four, divided by four minus four. And so we're gonna get four plus 12 is 16, and the square root of 16 is four minus four divided by four minus four, which is zero. And four minus four is again zero. So we get zero divided by zero. And that's a big red flag in that we probably need to do something different in order to approach this problem. So what I'm gonna do is multiply by the conjugate. So I'm gonna write limit of x approaching four parentheses. Inside the numerator we'll have the square root of x plus 12 minus four, close parentheses, divided by our denominator. Now in the description box, there will be two playlists. Now one playlist contains categorized limit problems. Like for example, this strategy is called multiply by the conjugate. And so it's a great resource to get a refresher on the different methods. The second playlist contains random limit problems. So anyways, for this problem, we're gonna multiply by the conjugate. And so that's gonna be this piece, but instead of a subtraction, you're gonna change it to addition. I'll show you what I mean by that. So you'll have parentheses, the square root of x plus 12. Um, outside there's a plus four. And if you do it on one side on the numerator, you have to also put it in the denominator. So same thing, parentheses, the square root of x plus 12. Outside there's a plus four, close parentheses. And the whole thing, we will close parentheses. Okay, the second step will be to multiply it out and expand, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So we get our square root of x plus 12, and we're going to multiply it by the square root of x plus 12, and we're going to get x plus 12. Now you take this piece, you times it by 4. But the thing is, you take the negative 4, you also times it by this piece, and so they cancel out. Now our last piece is negative 4 times 4, which is negative 16, divided by our denominator. And here I'm going to put a parenthesis around this piece. So we're going to get x minus 4 times this piece. So the square root of x plus 12. And on the outside, there's a plus 4. Close parentheses, the whole thing, parentheses. Now our next piece is just to clean it up a little bit. So we have limit of x approaching 4, parentheses. 12 minus 16 is negative 4. So in our numerator, we're going to get x minus 4. Denominator contains parentheses x minus 4 times the square root of x plus 12. Outside there's a plus 4, close parentheses. And so we notice in the numerator and denominator, they both contain an x minus 4, so we can cancel it. And what we have left is the limit of x approaching 4, parentheses 1 divided by the square root of x plus 12. Outside there's a plus 4. And now we can try plugging in four here to see what happens. So we're gonna get one divided by the square root of four plus 12. Outside there's a plus four. And so this is gonna equal one divided by the square root of four plus 12 is 16 plus four. And we know the square root of 16 is four. So we get one divided by four plus four. And four plus four is eight. So we get one divided by eight is our final answer. That's all we need to do for this problem.